Ah, sweet, glorious beer. God knows how many of those I've drunk out in the garden. But today on The Green Life, welcome by the way, we're going to switch things up and take you on a beer tour of the South Bay of Los Angeles. We're here chilling at the brewery where we got lots of hop situation. What's up, dude? Brendan from San Jose. What's up, Brendan on TPT? What do you got here, man? This is our mouth shed. So 400 pounds of grain can fit in here. 400 pounds of grain? Where do you guys source your grain? We have a local company in Washington called Brewer Supply Group. Nice. So we mash in the grain, cook it like oatmeal, run off, and collect it. Something like oatmeal? Yeah. And there he is, the total gust! <laughs> I think it's fascinating, dude. Brennan's a really wise host, dude. Breweries always float from the earth, float from the green. And uh, while I'm disappointed there's nothing in the tank, in some ways the mystery is a little more potent uh, than what you can actually see. Awesome. Sweet. All right, dude. Great time. <laughs> I'm here at the Dudes Brewery in the South Bay. Uh, what's your name, dude? How's it going, guys? I'm Brandon Walker. Nice, we got Brandon here. And obviously, we've been on this tour checking out what people do with their green life, how they get their hops, how they make beer, and things like that. And Brandon's gonna tell us folks about this piece of machinery right here, which is super high tech. What do we got Absolutely. here? Absolutely, this is, um, it's actually a very old technology, about 130 years old. They used to use it to uh, separate milk. Um, but now we're using it to separate beer, get your beers all nice and clear. What type um, of beer do you guys separate? So after it's all been brewed, so, you keep it here? Yeah, absolutely. After it's brewed, after it's fermented, what we want to do is send it from the fermenters, and we send it through the centrifuge, and we send it to a bright tank, and from there, we go ahead and package it off. So let's talk about old school beer brewing, right? Yeah. You got the hops, people are out in the field spraying it in. What did this machine look like 130 so years ago? So they didn't really use this for beer 130 years ago. But um, 30 years ago, honestly, I have really no idea what this looked like. But the process was always the same. It's always been the same. They just been refining it, going quicker and quicker. This is a serious setup, you know. All true people who work with the earth, whether you're growing tomatoes or you're growing barley for beer or hops, anything like that, you gotta adapt to technology and you gotta move, dude. I really, I really like seeing Absolutely. how you guys have been, like taken this technology uh, up to the next level. It's actually, it's, it's more green because normally we so much for dropping some knowledge on all Absolutely. the green light viewers out there. Super sick. So obviously we just scooped this pineapple pizza right here. And uh, this is the Smog City Brew Co. Multiple, multiple brewing operations here. Lots of guys working hard. If you look over here, you can see all their brew shoes. General brew apparatus, apparati. And uh, pretty serious operation. You know, and we're gonna do something new that we haven't done on the brewery tour yet. I'm not gonna eat this pizza. I'm gonna try this porter right here. This is the uh, Smog City Brewing Porter. <laughs> Shades of the earth with the mild hint of the past. So, it's gonna wrap up the Green Life Brewery Tour of the South Bay. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a really enjoyable journey. Next time you drink a nice beer, think about how it can connect to the earth. And that came from the hops, came from everything else too. Wonderful journey. Stay up, keep exploring. Don't forget to subscribe, like this page, get at me. Welcome to the Green Life. With your host, TPG. Tune in maybe once a week. I promise it'll be a treat.